On today's Try to Finish Something, I have to focus on the finish aspect of this channel because less than a week away, we have a local SAC anime Comic Con thing going on despite the whole pandemic. And it's less than a week away and I've got not one, but two costumes that I have to get out the door. Now, granted, one of them is for an eight-year-old. She wanted us to do a group thing and go as a Jawa and the Mandalorian. I'm the Mandalorian, by the way. She's the Jawa. So I've got to get an eight-year-old costume of a Jawa out the door and ready to go to a convention. Now, she's not going for 501st approval, so I can cut a few corners and do more of a broad strokes version of the costume so that it's obvious she's a Jawa, but it's not necessarily screen accurate. So I'm going to make a DIY budget Jawa on today's Try to Finish Something. So first, the robe and hood. She's eight, and I do have to factor in comfort. I'm gonna basically cut a giant plus with a, a head hole in the middle. I'm gonna fold it along the dotted line and sew the seams under the arms and along the sides. I've got her all measured out. This should be super simple. Now outside to weather the material with a first quick pass of spray paint. You want the weathering to look unplanned and random with a focus on the parts that would obviously get the dirtiest. I found that wadding up the material and doing quick paint passes creates a random look and accentuates the wrinkles. It's, it's okay if it's a bit heavy in the beginning because we're gonna sand this down and rough it up which will knock the first pass of paint back. The bandolier. I bought a brown and a black super cheap belt from Walmart and some of these, I don't know, women's coin purse wallet things, they were three bucks each and I just needed something cheap. I also still have a few of the Slavic army pouches from my shore trooper costume. I bought a few of them from Clint Williams of the local Imperial Outlanders and picked the best parts for my shore trooper costume and I'm going to use one of them for her costume to hang off the belt. I'm going to drill holes and attach all of these things with elastic cording. I do this a lot with my costuming parts and I've got a ton of this cord and after I tie it with a double knot, I put a drip of super glue on it to keep it from coming apart. and I'm gonna go back to the same weathering. It's back to the brown and black oil paints. I'm also gonna hit this with some lighter tans and some sandpaper. Layers are the key to making the weathering look believable. Lots of layers and lots of colors. Okay, so my eight-year-old isn't gonna carry around a toy gun around all day, so I'm gonna make a clip to attach it to the bandolier. I took a large picture hook and I hammered it out flat and then created some of my own bins, and I'm going to screw it into the wooden rifle stock. Getting 
close. I was going to make my own eyes, but due to the lack of time, I just purchased these on Amazon. I'm going to cut holes smaller than the electric eyes and then stretch through the mesh hood. Oh yeah, I also bought this mesh hood and some black gloves on Amazon too. I just have to figure out the placement. I put tape where my daughter's eyes were, and so once I stretch the eyes through the mesh, I'm soaking all of the edges of the material with super glue and then hitting it with kicker. trying not to glue my fingers to everything, and I'm failing at it. I had created this channel along the opening of the hood and I threaded a thick wire through that hoodie style channel to keep the opening, well, open. I, I'm gonna anchor three points sewing the mesh to the hood to keep everything in place. Nothing fancy. Looks good. Ooh, angry Jawa. I keep going overboard on these things. I think I have a problem. Here's a quick test fit. I'll do another pass of weathering prior to the convention. I'm just waiting for the black shirt and the black gloves to arrive, but I'm calling this finished. As always, if you liked the video, please comment down below and subscribe. If you didn't like it, please tell Odin at Odin Makes he should stick to making things out of foam because this video was not up to his usual high standards. <laughs>